My name is Jessica Singerman, and I wanted to give you uh, some practical ways, some easy ways to help relax and to help lessen anxiety right now. So what we're going to do is called a three-part breath, and I'm going to break it into its three parts first, and then we'll put it all together. And what this does is that it helps us be aware of all the different muscles that can help with breathing. So what happens a lot of the time um, when we get anxious or just in normal living is that we do what's called shallow breathing and just breathe up in the upper portion of our chest. So what we're gonna do with the three part breath is work on breathing all the way into the, what feels into the, like the belly and into the side ribs and at the top. So, all right, so we'll start with the belly. And so to be aware of this, especially if you haven't breathing like this, been breathing like this before, to help us is to put a hand on the belly. And I'll just back up really quickly. Make sure that you're sitting in a comfortable position. So I'm sitting on the floor on a cushion or a pillow, and I have a blanket under my knees just to help my ankles and knees be a little more comfortable, but you can also sit in a chair. So I'm gonna place a hand on the belly and I'm gonna notice the belly moving as I breathe. So the idea is to bring the breath all the way into the belly and to let the belly rise as I inhale. So my hand will move away from my back. And as I exhale, the hand moves in toward the spine. So try to do that a few times and just notice your hand moving as the belly expands and you inhale and exhale. And if you notice at first that your belly's not moving a whole lot, because sometimes it can take practice to, to deepen our breath if we haven't been breathing deeply for a while, don't worry about it. It's, this is meant to, to relax you. So just try to be aware. And this is something that you can work on and uh, with practice, you can breathe more deeply. So the next part of the three-part breath is to bring the breath into the rib cage. And this can sometimes be a little more challenging at first because it's a different sensation. So the idea here is that our rib, ribs will broaden as we inhale and then become more narrow as we exhale. So we're placing our hands on our rib cage here. And as we inhale, we're going to broaden the rib cage. You're gonna feel your ribs spread out a little bit. And this does take sometimes a little bit of practice because it is a really different sensation to feel the breath into our side ribs. All right, and then the last part of this three-part breath is more familiar for most of us, and this is breathing into the upper part of our chest. So as we inhale, our hand will rise, and exhale, the hand will drop with the chest. So what we're going to do now is put all three parts together. So the way this works is we're going to count. The idea is that, that you're working toward uh, having an equal number of breath counts into each section of the breath, and the same as you inhale and then exhale. And if you want, eventually when you do this on your own, you can work on, on lengthening the breath. But for now, we're gonna, we're gonna do a count of three in each section. So what I'll do, I'll talk you through this. We'll place the hands on the belly as we inhale for a count of three. Then we'll place the hands on the side ribs as we inhale for a count of three. And we'll finish the inhale with three counts in the upper section. As we exhale, we'll reverse that. So the chest will drop for three counts as we exhale. Then we exhale being aware of the side ribs. And then we exhale 
the belly. And so that's the end of the breath. So we'll do a couple rounds of that, all right? So as we start, hands on the belly, we'll inhale for three. And into the side ribs for three. And then the upper, the chest. And then we'll exhale and reverse all of that. So three count, exhale. Exhaling from the ribs. And exhaling from the belly. And at the very end of the exhale, you're basically trying to exhale any remaining breath before you go into your next inhale. So we'll go again, bringing the breath into the belly for three counts. Side ribs, broadening them. Upper part of the chest. And then exhaling and reversing all of that. Okay, so to recap, we're inhaling into the belly and into the side ribs and in the chest, and then exhaling and reversing that motion, exhaling, and then from the ribs, and then the belly. So with this breath, you're basically retraining your body to take a nice deep breath, which helps us get more oxygen and helps us be a little more clear in our minds and hopefully to relax a little bit. Um, and this is a tool that you can use at any point during the day. You can do it when you're driving, you can do it when you're cooking, uh, or when you're doing your work, you know, whatever you're doing, this is a nice tool you can do, and you can do it with children um, as well. Um, and as you do it more, if you wanna lengthen the breath, you can do that. The only thing is you don't wanna feel any kind of strain or like you're holding the breath. It, the, all, the whole thing should feel really relaxed. So take that and use it and share it and Please be well, and if I will be sharing more, I will be sharing more things like this on Instagram and on Facebook at Jessica Singerman Fine Art. So please share this and take care of yourselves. Thank you. Be well.